Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Generations, a game requested to me by Joe Coolio of both YouTube and Tumblr. I am doing a post commentary because Fraps did not record my microphone for some reason. But for this I will be playing a new game, as I already had a save game. That way you get to see all the cutscenes and stuff, which I will not be talking over for this playthrough. And here we start off as on the classic version of the Green Hill Zone, the first stage from the first Sonic for the Sega Genesis. A game which I have played far too much. But as you can see from the get-go, the graphics are beautiful, even if perhaps makes this game lag quite a bit, because I am on a laptop rather than a gaming PC, but it still runs smooth enough to play and it always stays above 15 frames per second, which is perfectly fine for me, as my old laptop would run games at like 1 frame per second. But enough about that. The controls in this game have been... I wouldn't say tweaked, but rather, um... retrofitted to the old controls of the Genesis games, Aside from Sonic's jump being a little bit floaty, which actually does help for the more intricate platforming in this game, as there are much more gaps to traverse than there were in the 16-bit counterparts. The first thing you will notice, probably, is the music. In the classic stages, they are basically the Genesis music, but cleaned up and with extra sound channels to make them sound really nice. And the old enemies, or bad mix rather, also make a return, like that motobug and the crab meat up there that I just dodged the missile from. Also, in both the modern and classic stages, the game will off all often go 2.5D, so you get a good view of both the foreground and the background. Speaking of which, Look at that background. It has several different layers on it. Make it seem like you're really in the zone that you're playing in, rather than just on a flat surface. This game has been heralded by many critics as the best Sonic game in over a decade, and I would have to agree. And that is the end of the first stage. And since I got an A rank without dying, I get an automatic S rank. Those are very easy to get in the early stages, not so much in the later ones. But enough of that, it's cutscene time. Party or something? Surprise! Ah, you guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. I like it! I love it! Hmm? What? Sonic! What's that? What's it doing?
am I? As you can see, right now the hub world is just a large white void. No colors, no music, no nothing. So there's really not much you can do here except run around and enter this one stage. But being the ADHD person I am, I did just that and ran around aimlessly for about 30 seconds before I actually entered the level, which I am going to do right now. So you can see what I consider to be the most fun part of the game. R once I enter here. Alright. This is what I consider the most fun part of the game. While I love the nostalgia of the classic stages, the speed and tight controls of the modern stages are what I really play this game for. As for 3D Sonic levels, these are the most well-made ones since Sonic Adventure 2 came out in 2001, and I love that game to death. And yeah, the first time I played through the this first stage was actually on the PS3 version, which I had the demo for. Yeah, it ran a little bit more smoothly, as my PS3 was actually designed for gaming while my laptop was not. But, it's, again, it still plays smooth enough to play through the game without any problems. And there's me accidentally hitting the pause button because I'm an idiot. And my controller is a little bit oddly shaped since I bought it in 2002 I believe, but that's beside the point. As you can see the graphics are even more spectacular in the modern stages than they are in the classic stages, which is saying quite a lot because it was already beautiful. The tricks in this game are a lot easier to pull off as all you have to do is shake the joystick back and forth rather than doing quick time events. And the rail grinding from Sonic Unleashed is back, and a lot more easy to control. In fact, this entire, um, all the modern stages seem to be played a lot like the stages in Sonic Colors, except a lot tighter and a lot more visually appealing. Of course, Sonic Colors was on the Wii, so graphics could not uh, possibly live up to these standards with the hardware. And a complaint of some of the older 3D Sonic games is that you all you did was run forward and you had no real platforming. This game somewhat remedies that. As you can see in that past part, there are actually places where you have to stop and think about what you're doing. And there's me pausing again. How glorious is that? But I am nearing the end of this level, so let's just take a time to look at the beautiful black graphics. Oh, and before I forget, the remix music. In the modern stages, they use new mi mixes of the music designed just for this game which are often either techno or rock and roll sounding, which I love, except when you're boosting the sound gets all distorted, which I know why they did that to give the illusion of speed, but it does take away from the quality of the sound a little bit. And that is the end of the Green Hill Zone as both classic and modern Sonic. And again, I did not lose a life, so I should be getting an S rank. No Sonic's old breakdance cocky little bastard. So, we will go into the next cutscene as soon as this loading screen is done. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. Is it me, 
Or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me, but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. Well, no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic! I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. And all the beautiful color has been restored to the world. Wow, that was gay. But anyway, you now have the ability to switch between classic and modern Sonic at any time while you're in the hub world. And with that, there is not much else to do. And I have shown off the first level of the game, the Green Hill Zone. So with that, I will exit this game for now and be back later. So until next time... This has been Char Disparity playing Sonic Generations. I hope you all enjoyed it. So until next time, goodbye and thank you for watching.